Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to copy contacts from Android to SIM. So let's get started. So right now I'm in my phone and I want to go to my contacts first. So here in my contacts, as you can see, I have uh, contacts here. I have three contacts saved in my phone. Uh, usually uh, for you to actually copy your contacts to uh, from your Android phone to your SIM card is you want to go to the top left corner of your screen and then from below you should be able to see the settings option there. But for newer phones, sometimes that option will not be available on your contacts. Uh, sometimes uh, we have the fix and manage option, which is not actually the settings. But we could go and uh, go there and we could see the export to file and import from file option. But when we actually do that, like for example, uh, you want to export a file. So it doesn't actually transfer your uh, number or con contact information into your SIM card and same goes with import. It doesn't actually import your contact into your SIM card because your SIM card isn't actually an option here. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, for some phones, this option for copying your contacts from Android phone is not available. But for some phones only. But if you're having this issue that you don't have this option, you've been looking internet. Uh, why well, I don't have this option? Maybe your phone is affected by this, but we have do we do have an alter alternative that we could do. So, yeah. So the first way for you to actually save your contacts to your phone is you could actually just go to settings, and here you want to go to edit contacts in the default account for new contacts, uh, that section. Just click on that, and sometimes your phone number will appear here if you've entered your phone number. So you could just uh select your phone number here and every time you create a new contacts uh you your, those contacts will be saved into your sim card but if your phone your, if your sim card isn't available here you could do the other way which is actually just using the google sync uh available on our phones so if you're using android this uh feature is available to you readily so it's a lot better because it's actually going to sync your contacts into your uh, google account so if you transfer to another device once you've logged in into that account those contact information will also be uh, transferred to that new device which is really helpful that's what we uh what we are we are actually looking for so uh to enable this you just need to like for example uh you need to edit your settings on google so you need to go to your settings first so here you just want to go to your settings and you just want to scroll down a bit until you see the section that says accounts and sync and here you want to make sure that the account sync option is enabled once that's enabled you want to go to google and here you just want to click on more and just want to click on the sync now so any account is actually uh indicated here it's gonna be a sync with your phone so that's really helpful so once you've done that you're actually just automatically syncing your uh the account details uh, to your phone but uh, one more thing we just need to go back to our contacts so just go back to fix and manage and you want to go to settings again just scroll down a bit until you see the default account for new account so instead of your device you want to select the account that you want to back up the information for example uh i have this user that's is uh named Rentoris. So every time I create a new account, instead of being saved to my phone, it's going to be saved into my Google account. So that's what it's going to do. So together with that sync uh, option from Google and this option here, my contacts will be saved into my account. So another thing, like if you already have an existing uh, contact information on your phone and you want to transfer it really easily, so we could make actually make use of those export to file and import from file. Because when we actually select on the import, import means that you're actually transferring file from what, uh, transferring file into an account. So that's what it does. So right now we want to transfer it to like for example to this account rent stories from my device. So here you just want to go back to your contacts, and then you want to go ahead and make sure that you select your device here, and then you want to go to fix and manage again. And here in the export to file, here, and make sure that you know the location where you're actually saving this. So for example, I'm just going to save this one in my downloads location. 
and wait for this to load up. So it's going to be a really sh a short one if you only have like a few contacts. But if you have a lot of contacts, you, you might have to wait a few minutes. And once you've done that, uh, you want to do here is you want to go ahead and check your account first. So at the top right corner, you want to switch over to the account that you want to like transfer the contacts to. So I have this uh, user that, as you can see, I don't have contacts yet on this account. So I want to import that. So go to fix and manage and you want to click on the import from file and here just choose the account and here you just want to go to the location that you've uh, uh, went to. So I went to downloads. So from here, I just want to select the contact that VCF and see here it says the contacts will be imported shortly. And here you can see the uh, current uh, status, but it's already completed. So when I go back to my contacts, it's actually going to uh, import those contacts from my phone into my Google account. So this is actually an alternative that we could do if you can't actually uh, copy your contacts from Android SIM and you just really, really want to be a mobile with your contacts. Uh, we could do this via your uh, Google account. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.